Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and today we'll take a look at an asset in the Unity Asset Store, simply called Monster Dog. Now, it does have a little bit of extra in there, it says low polygon mobile dog, and if you look at it, it doesn't particularly look low poly, so that kind of confused me a little bit, so I kind of had to check it out. Um, so, the actual asset itself comes with a nice demo scene, which is always good. However, the asset itself doesn't quite look uh, as quality as it does in the image. So there is one slight drawback. It does feel a little bit misrepresented. However, that doesn't mean that it is a bad asset. It just means that you might have to do a little bit more to make it how you want it. And that's always a good thing when it comes to taking a look at assets. Always modify them to how you want it to be. Don't just take it as it comes. So quality wise, yeah, it's okay. It serves its purpose. It's kind of grim, gruesome, and, you know, ooh, scary. So obviously it's going to have its uses in various different types of, you know, fantasy, horror style games. Uh, quantity, we get just the, uh, the model here with a couple of animations, which is good. Obviously it's good because the animations really do help quite a lot because then it makes it more versatile and you're able to do different things. That's always, always a good thing. So like I say, I always encourage people to modify things a little bit as well. Uh, just add in a little bit of post-processing and perhaps just change um, some of the uh, elements of the material. Like if we change it to albedo alpha, decrease the smoothness, increase the metallic, increase the normal map a bit. And you can see it looks really, well, ugh gruesome like it's really going to attack you so this is where the customizability comes in realistically you should be customizing a lot of these assets and it is easily customizable looks like it's a uh, charred there which is a nice effect i think um so yeah it's to play around with it and do what you can with this because i do think that you probably can get it just right how you would want it uh, but like i say it does turn in fact it does feel a little bit misrepresented in the image because it doesn't strictly come as it is but i don't think it's a bad asset because of that not at all um so if i press play we'll take a look at some of his animations uh extras there's no real extras here it's just what you see uh but that does look kind of cool i like how that looks uh usefulness like I say uh kind of fantasy stuff maybe if you're recreating a final fantasy or something like that and you want to have a boss this is going to be really really good that's a good uh, it's a good asset to have for that um package size is five meg which is pretty good i think that's a good size considering what you get here uh it is free um however asset prices do change from time to time in the asset store so just be mindful of that uh, but five meg is a pretty decent size for an asset um, so as you guys know, I don't rate assets. I either recommend them or I don't. And I wouldn't 100% recommend this, but I would recommend it if you want to try a couple of things out and just have like a boss to play around with, that kind of thing. Um, there are much higher quality assets if you're prepared to search around or even pay. But overall, yeah, I'd recommend this, even if it's just for prototyping. I think it's a good asset to work with. The animations are real smooth and sleek. And it's really easy to use as well. So yeah, I, I would recommend it. So guys, have you used this asset yourself in the asset store? If you have, I'd love to know your opinion of it. I always like to know what people think of the assets that I review. Uh, most of the time, yes, I do recommend them, but sometimes I don't for various different reasons. But I always like to know what you guys think. Uh, if you've got it on the asset store as well, let me know. I'd love to possibly check it out and even review it in one of these videos because gamers or rather game developers always like to know where to get their various assets from and if they're any use so things like this are always useful finally guys don't forget click on that subscribe button and click the bell icon as well to stay up to date with everything i upload on video game development on my channel because there's loads to see loads to learn and loads to do and guys thank you very much for watching